I will take you along through the amazing mall of Terminal 21. Terminal 21 is one of Bangkok's coolest malls located right smack in the middle of the city. It is well known for its diversity of floors. Every floor represents a different city around the world. Come along as I eat my way through Pier 21 of San Francisco and wander the streets of Istanbul, London, and Tokyo. Terminal 21. That is one of the most popular malls here in Bangkok. And today I want to go in there. I want to explore it and check it out because each level is very different. And I'm extremely hungry and they are known for having really good food at the top of the mall. So let's find some food. I just made it up here to Pier 21 at the top of Terminal 21. This is the uh, food court area. There's lots and lots of food here. It's really hard to decide what exactly I want to eat, but I'm definitely going to pick something. Maybe try to sample a little bit of everything. Like, look at that, some fish, all sorts of seafood and different meats. Cutting up some crispy pork. That looks really good. Indecisive. Just sat down here and got a plate. This is a uh, spicy mushroom and maybe some pork skin with some pink rice. I'm not sure what kind of rice it is, but the pork skin is pretty good. Nice and crispy, caramelized, sugary. It must taste like cereal, but salty. The rice itself is pretty terrible. It's like way overcooked. It's been sitting for hours. I'm definitely not going to eat that. But this here is the mushroom and some spicy kind of sauce. It's really pretty good. It's vegetarian. The first option I went with a vegetarian, vegetarian meal. Although this pork skin wouldn't be vegetarian, right? Let's try this. Wow, that was a big, big mushroom. It's definitely a little spicy. Not too spicy for me, but maybe for other people. Really, really crispy. I'm not sure what kind of mushroom it is. As you can see, it's a really big mushroom here. But for this plate right here, it costs 32 baht. That is super, super cheap. Less than a dollar for all of this. All right, next up, I got some green noodles with duck and without the soup. And also custard ban bao, I think, uh, bao bun or something, something like that. That looks incredible. Green noodles. I've never had any green noodles before, but let's try it out. Here's the duck skin. Really sweet. So this roasted duck was 32 baht. Super, super affordable, super cheap too. Good price. All right, next up is this bao bun, I think that's what they call it in, in Vietnam. Not sure of the technical name here, steamed bun maybe. But this one's with uh, custard inside. Not sure how that's gonna taste. All right, here it is for 12 baht. weird. I was expecting it to be more of a consistent texture like pudding but it's really like chunky kind of. Not bad. For 12 baht. Can't complain. Look at it though. It literally looks like a yolk is just spread out in there. Not something I would have on the regular. At number five, are you coffee? Please. Thank you. Wow. I don't know what kind of iced coffee this is, but it's sugary. It's flavorful. Wow. It's like iced coffee mixed with chocolate milk, but they put a lot of condensed milk in it, I believe. Hello. Finished. Thank you. Wow, that food was pretty, pretty good for a very cheap price. Ended up only spending about 98 baht for a couple of those dishes that I tried. I'm not super full. I'm pretty content. 
got the iced coffee now to walk around and explore Terminal 21 here. Look at all the floors, there's just so many of them. So the cool thing about Terminal 21 here is that every floor is a different city and it's a different city internationally. So they have like London, Paris, uh, Istanbul, Tokyo, San Francisco and right now if you can't tell this one is Istanbul with the lanterns or not the lanterns I don't know what they are they're just like lights but there's a lot of shops that are actually closed they're not open right now maybe they're more open on the weekend but it's definitely a, a very very cool place to be and to just kind of walk around and explore and have some food for <laughs> next to nothing so this iced coffee I did get, by the way, was 25 baht. That's very affordable. And now we've just entered the floor of London. So this is the London floor. And there's lots of clothing on this floor. Uh, there was that Oxford tower there where you can buy a, maybe a cheaply made suit. Maybe not too cheap, but cheaper than you would get in London or in the United States. Um, definitely the place to buy a suit. You know, being the floor of London, actually, you would think that there is a lot of uh, soccer or football jerseys as, maybe not in London, but in England itself, that's what England is known for. The initial designing and maybe engineering of this place is quite clever because it really attracts people's attention to have different cities on different floors. Like here, just enter the the Tokyo floor, so a lot of Tokyo or Japanese detail. <clears throat> you know, one of the coolest things about each floor is there's an arrival and a departure. So basically, one part of the escalator, the entrance, is the arrival, and when you get off, would be like the departure. Oh, look at that street. You know you're in Japan when two sumo wrestlers have to hold up the column to the place, right? Thanks to these guys, this place is still standing. Samurai. Wow. Oh, I even have Japanese toilets in some of these bathrooms. Oh wow, there's more like mini food stalls down there where you can eat. Lots of little pop-up stores. It's supposed to be the Caribbean. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. So Terminal 21 is located like directly on the BTS line of Hustle. That's the station stop. And Soy Cowboy is right next to it. It's right over there. So it's a very convenient location to come. Definitely one of the best malls here in Bangkok to check out. Not the best in my opinion, but one of the best in terms of being unique and different than any other mall probably in the world, right? The rush hour traffic is always serious in Bangkok. Always so many cars. And if you're driving anywhere, it will definitely take several hours to get a very far distance across the city. So no matter where you go in Bangkok, there are plenty of marijuana shops, places where you can buy marijuana, you can like smoke it usually on site. I've seen a few places where people are smoking it outside. You can have some sort of drink or something to eat there, like a cafe style. And you can have like infused CBD stuff. So those are becoming a big thing here in Thailand. I don't know anything about the legality of it as I don't take part in it, but it's interesting how you can see it everywhere. I don't know how recent it is. Maybe it's in the last year they've been popping up but it is becoming a big thing in the whole world, as you probably already know. You see it in the United States, everywhere, like New York. It's quite fascinating. 